Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel, this time for the Akacha Ball new in Golf Clash the game. Before we take a closer look, make sure that you do hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those that do want to take the game to next level, you can get our exclusive tour text guides or our ultimate tournament text guide for pro expert and master through the Patreon link in the description down below. So get your package already today. So, Akacha Ball, dance across the nature with the new Akacha Ball, make your mark in the savanna with this fantastic combo of stats. Uh, this is power 3, top spin boost 2, side spin 4 and wind resistance 4. And by the first glance of look, I mean, this is actually a pretty decent ball. There is one thing though that will take down my rating uh, um, a little bit, and we're gonna go through that as well, I think most of you have already guessed that. but. When it comes to this ball, it's an all-around ball, and we like all-around the balls, but at the same time, we have had so many that have similar stats. We do also have something called a Kingslayer, which especially those that have the, the luck, being lucky getting to weekend round are getting plenty of when it comes to Master. Obviously, somewhat in Expert as well, in Expert Tier 3, I think you will get some Kingslayers. Correct me if I'm wrong there, please. Uh, but at least, the Kingslayer is very similar. We've had plenty of balls that do have somewhat similar stats to this as well. The only difference, obviously, is the top spin boost too. And and looking at from a tournament perspective, I'm going to give this one 6 out of 10, all right? And 6 out of 10, I base that on that, once again, we do have a lot uh, of balls with similar stats like this. Sure, the top spin boost is... It's a little bit of a bump up in my book, but then looking at the plus one overpower needle stability, I mean, it's not often maybe we're going to use overpower with this type of ball, but I think the plus one is definitely removing some parts where this ball is actually going to be useful. Like me personally, if I'm going to go max overpower, then I would rather go with a plus three ball that don't have boost. Then going with one with boost and plus one uh, needle stability. But I mean, that's just me. So I think that this ball is definitely valuable in tournament play, but not so much that I, that I thought from the beginning when I've been thinking it through. Obviously, this ball can be used on par threes. It can be used on par uh, fours, and it can be used on par fives as well. So there is value to it, but definitely the needle speed, in my opinion, and also the lack of uh, like not having a wind resistance five is definitely taking the ball down to a six out of ten in my book. Maybe a little bit harsh, but I mean that's how we're gonna look at it. Tour play, though, eight and a half is what I'm giving it there because again, power three is definitely the best possible stat there. Um, we do have the top speed moves too. Side spin 4, wind resistance 4. Here, the top spin boosts, in my opinion, are super valuable. I'm thinking about lower level drivers uh, that now can compete against higher level drivers in a much bigger extent. And therefore, the top spin boost has, in my book, much more value because it will remove the need of overpower sometimes. And you can use then the top spin boost instead. And in tour play, I mean, you know, the needle speed is definitely important. Um, but it's not as important when you need to be accurate with a drive such as you need to be in tournament. So 8.5 out of 10 for me when it comes to this ball in tour play. And I definitely believe this should be a ball that you stock up with if you are a tour play grinder. And have the possibility to invest in your game obviously. Let's take a look at the needle speed and uh, center the ball in uh, action here. So you can see here now that centering the ball, this ball is round and I mean they have been doing that with the latest bolt which is perfect and needle speed plus one it's gonna be tough to hit perfect but there is obviously definitely a possibility to do so good looking ball a catch a ball i would love to hear your thoughts in the description down below do you agree with me do you not agree with me and if so leave a comment and explain why thank you so much for watching and a massive good luck in your golf clash game